Holocaust survivor Leon Asner passed away about a week ago. He lived here in Atlanta and had no family and limited social interactions. His last wish was to have a Jewish Orthodox funeral with enough Jewish men to have what's known as a minion, a group of 10 adult men required for traditional Jewish worship. As CBS 46's Melissa Stern reports, his wish came through in a big way. Not only did Leon's dying wish come true, but nearly 100 people showed up for his funeral. Leon and his dad were on a train to Auschwitz, and his dad said that he should jump off that train. And his dad told him as a young boy that he could survive, and he made him promise that he would survive. He was a very brave child who escaped the Nazis and joined the resistance. Leon Asner came to this country as an immigrant and had to find his way. Leon had come to a point in his life where he was in trouble. He didn't have resources. He was lonely. He didn't know who to turn to. He turned to Jewish Family and Career Services, who became his family. They helped him get bar mitzvahed a few years ago, and they helped him again just last week. He passed away at age 87 on January 3rd and had three wishes, not to die alone, not to be in pain when he died, and that people would show up to his funeral. Nobody should end their lives alone. JF and CS posted about it on social media, hoping to honor his dying wish. And on Monday, January 6th at 10 a.m., dozens of strangers showed up to Greenwood Cemetery. There were droves of people coming in. This is a community where people truly care about each other and show up for one another, and especially at, at a time of somebody's greatest need. Leon witnessed the worst forms of anti-Semitism in his lifetime, and the recent upswing in anti-Semitism worried him greatly. But this showed, once again, that amazing things can happen when a community sticks together. The ending to his life honored just the courage that he lived it with each and every day. Melissa Stern, CBS 46 News.